Oh, let's get some line on the situation. Oops. All right, fellas, welcome back. Now we're going to kick things off with the uh, the first of the two that are going back up on the leaderboard. Coconut Chai PA. We're kicking it off again at the minute. Stas Brewing from Australia, mate, right? is um, is is in the lead. Forty-seven point six. Will it change today? Though? So we're going all the way from um, the last beers that we did, Australia, New Zealand, and we're going a little bit close to home, Yorkshire, Mr. Longbottom. This is probably the freshest one that uh, we've had yet to taste, bottled on the 1st of the 10th. Let's see if she's uh, carved up. Cheers! Yes, we have hissage. We have a hiss. Let's see what we've got. And remember, she's bottle conditioned, you goof. So don't pour it all in. Oh, that's looking like a good beer, mate. Oh lord! It's cold today. Anyway, 5% this one. 5%. What am I shouting for? Alright, so appearance. Appearance. Well, you can't say better than that, appearance wise. It's nice and clear. There's a tiny hint of a haze to it which uh, is quite appealing to my eye. It's poured a lovely head, real nice tight bubbles and it looks like it's uh, sticking around a little bit. So appearance, you cannot friggin knock it. That's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 all day long. Good friggin start. Right, aroma. General aroma. Mmm. That ain't bad. Yeah, pick it up a nice tropical fruity aroma. A little bit biscuity. It's a little bit subdued. There's not a um, it's not bounding out the glass. But what's there is quite nice. And a bit of a toffee aroma off it. So aroma out of ten. Seven point eight. Taste. General taste. Oh, that's refreshing. It's a nice thirst quencher. It's something that I'd probably dive into after eating some greasy food, some burgers or, or a curry or something like that because it's quite a dry, bitter IPA. It's nice and refreshing but straight away it starts to dry the tongue out and hits this bitterness which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, a palate cleanser. Overall taste, it ain't three bad. I'll give it a 6.8 out of 10. Coconut aroma, fellas, coconut aroma. Uh, I think I know where I'm gonna go with this one. On the coconut aroma. You're just, just, just picking it up. But there's a hell of a lot of, um, of tropical fruity notes coming off the hop but just about picking up the coconut aroma so out of 10 I give it a 6 coconut taste definitely getting the coconut mid taste and then to the to the back end of the taste I am getting that nice creamy coconut that we were on about in the others it's not as much, but there is quite a bit lingering at the back end right now. I can still sort of pick it up. So it's definitely there. Out of 10, I'll give it 7.8. And how close is it to the coconut shy PA? Well the colour's not a million miles away. It's got almost like a it's got more of an orangey copper hue to it. Nice tropical hop. Nice biscuity malts. Getting the coconut at the back end, just about, but it's it's drying out more than the coconut shy IPA does. It's it's a very dry, very dry IPA. I think that adds to the bittering seeming more than what it is. It dries out mid palate to the end and then hits you with this big bitter punch, which is quite refreshing, but it doesn't half grab all the tongue. I can feel it now, but I think it's just a bit too dry for the coconut shy. 
out of 10, I think I'll give it a 5.8. That gives you a total 44.2. I must say though, it's quite the enjoyable drink. It's quite the enjoyable, uh, quite the enjoyable IPA. We've been to the land of the Hovis advert, and now we're going to the land of Abba in Sweden. From Yorkshire to Sweden. Such an oddly, uh, oddly paired couple of locations there, but well, that's how it goes. So this is Beardy Brews Coconut Chapier, or the shy one. Brewed on the 17th of September, and if this is anything like the um, red tag which he brewed up and we are in for a friggin treat Beardy Brews cheers mate nice amount of hiss doesn't sound like it's over carbonated let's get a pour out Shit. let me top this up because I've managed to Tip the glass everywhere. We now have a sticky floor. Let's uh, start things off with the appearance. The appearance is um, quite nice actually. I like the fact that it's clear, but still is maintaining a bit of a, a haze to it, uh, which I find appealing in a beer. It did form a nice cap. The bubbles weren't very creamy, weren't very small. They were sort of medium size. And so as a result, I've started to dissipate a little bit but it's still holding a cap I think that looks that looks pretty damn good I'm gonna give that a 9.2 aroma mmm wow that's uh, that's different from anything I've, I've smelt so far for the leaderboard it smells very Czech Pilsner it smells like it's got um, a lager profile malt wise coming off the aroma very crisp smelling, it's very refreshing smelling. You're definitely getting a, a bready, biscuity malt uh, characteristic on the nose, which is then backed up with a little bit of a, a tropical fruity hum. So aroma, I'll give it an 8.3. Taste, general taste fellas. Oh, I like it when that happens, when the aroma follows through onto the flavour. It's definitely tasting very Pilsner-esque, it's, it's very lagery, getting a light um, breadiness, biscuitiness, very fresh, very crisp and refreshing. But the mouthfeel is, is a good medium mouthfeel, getting a bit of hop at the back end, but it's mainly this, um, this malt that's, that's pushing forward, I'll give it an 8. Coconut aroma. Mmm, definitely there. There's a nice um, creamy coconutty background aroma. You can just about pick it out from the malt, but it's not it's not bounding out the, the glass. It's, it's not sort of separating itself. It's slightly slightly hiding. So coconut aroma. I give it a 5.1. Right, coconut taste. Coconut taste. Again, I think it's the same as the aroma. It's there's definitely definitely hints of coconut there. It's not got that trademark creamy coconut taste. But I think same as the aroma. It's it's sort of hiding a little bit behind this um, profiling from the malts. It's not separated in the flavour. If that makes any sense, it's getting a little bit muddled but it's definitely there. Coconut taste out of 10. Again, I give it a 5.1. How close is it to the coconut shy PA? Well, I'll be honest, it's a completely different beer altogether. Um, I think the closest thing to it is probably the color, a little bit lighter. The aroma and the flavor is smelling and tasting very Pilsner-like, very fresh, very crisp. And the fact that there's not uh, a vast amount of of the fresh mangoey mosaic with that coconut bounding out. Um, I think it makes it a completely different beer altogether. So it's not that close to it, but nevertheless, 
it's a cracking beer. So out of 10, I give it a four. Now I must admit, I prefer the red tag. That vanilla, raspberry vanilla IPA was absolutely frigging spot on. But this is still a good, uh, a good beer, man. Still a good beer. Very crisp, very fresh, very refreshing. But it's all gone, so it wasn't bad at all. Let's get these added up. All right, all scores are totted up. And that puts you with 39.7. And that is it, fellas. We are up to date for coconut shy PAs. No more in my fridge, and the leaderboard's looking good. So that's it, fellas. So as always, don't forget to thumbs up if you're not new. Don't forget to hit the like and hit subscribe. Click it on the side, click it next. Share the video, get out more to see. And until next time, I'm out of here.